Hi everyone, welcome back to Enigmatica 6 Expert Mode, episode 16. Uh, today we are actually going to get to setting up the Drigme farm and the Sylph resource farm. So let's get started here. Let's flip back around. Um, I have kind of a cage here for the Masticator. Um, I do know that you can shrink the Masticator and make him little itty bitty, but honestly, with how much space I have, I don't think I'm going to shrink any of them now that I'm thinking about it. I think it'll just look nicer with them as their normal size. I think it'll look kind of, kind of cool having him as our, like a big focal point to this floor here. Um, I did not really measure how big of a space he's going to need, so hopefully he can fit in here. Um, I, I, th I would think so, hopefully. If not, we can always spawn another one. But how we're going to do it is I'm going to try and teleport him um, into the space with a warp scroll. So we're going to shift and right click on this space. I have seen someone else do this, and so hopefully this will work right. But if not, um, we can go ahead and shrink him and put him in a bottle, and then I'll just bring him over here, put him back down in here, and then make him normal size again. Hopefully that'll work and he won't like glitch into a wall or something, but um, the warp scroll should work, but this is kind of our, our backup plan. I do have um, two sets here because we're going to transport one over here first, and then once that hopefully goes okay with no issues, then we'll actually fight one. Just to at least, you know, like, fight one normal. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully that cage is big enough. Um, so let's see here. We're gonna need to set up the birthing altar. Um, I think, let's just go to like a random, a random area. Uh, actually, okay, I don't want those. I'm actually going to grab this because I'm going to take that and I have some flowers in my bag as well to replenish some aura. But another thing we're going to do before we go over and spawn the Masticator is press that, get some more of that on there. Okay, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do this and this will be kind of like a double, kind of two sources of aura like replenishing once we once we get this set up here. And then, do I not have the right twisted sapling? I guess I maybe didn't grab that unless that's, no, okay, I left it, left it in this chest where all this stuff was before. All right, so we'll get that. Oh, well, obviously I have done something wrong. Moonstone, sunstone. Mossy living. Oh, did, are they not mossy? Oh, they are mossy. So, two mossy. Moonstone, sunstone. Infuse sun metal. Glyph of wither. Token of grief. Token of terror. Token of terror. Token of grief. Infuse sun metal and the glyph of wither why didn't that work am i completely twisted sapling am i going crazy here or did this just not work and it was supposed to let's uh i guess try this again this is right right i feel like i'm going crazy here Okay, now it's working. That was really strange. Okay, um, let's put that stuff away. Okay, I don't need any of that. Okay, so we have the the swamp uh, home eye thing there, and I brought a little bit of stone and the botanist pickaxe. So we're gonna try that as well um, as kind of a source of 
aura regeneration. Um, but now let's just find a random place to set up this altar of birthing just kind of temporarily. Um, let's see. Sure, this works. Just a random, random area. Oh, this was my, this was my area I had gone to and I went down here and I got a bunch of dirt. <laughs> yeah, that's where I was like vein mining, vein mining a bunch of dirt out. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter how much aura is in the area to begin with. I mean, it would be better with more, but it's not really a big deal. Um, okay, so let's kind of clear out a spot here. Go away. And trash this stuff. Huh, uh, that's a mushroom I haven't eaten. I'm just going to put that in my backpack for now. Okay, so let's visualize the altar of birthing. We're going to place that down right there. Go ahead and put the book away because I do not need it anymore. And then we're going to break out all these blocks that we don't need. Do hay bales here. All right, and then some infused are they infused rock? Yeah, infused rock. In those spots. And then I'm going to do... You don't really necessarily need a uh, ancient plank underneath the birthing altar, but I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and do it that way. And then the birthing altar. What am I missing? Clearly I'm missing some- oh, is it supposed to- oh, I don't think I have enough hay bales. I think that's what it was. Um, yeah, let me go back and get some more hay bales, because yeah, it does look like I think I'm missing a whole other, um, layer on the bottom. Maybe. Because this all should be correct. But it's looking like there's- Hmm. I'm very confused. Okay, that counts. Why aren't these counting? Oh, I know what it is. They aren't the, like, the bricks. Yeah, there we go. That's what it was. They, it wasn't just the, the regular rock. There we go. Okay. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put down, let's try out this guy. Let's put him down and put some stone around it. Honestly, I think I'm just going to do like one ring around it. I don't need, I don't need all of that. I'll just let my dank pick that up and let's try this out. Um, so what the botanist pickaxe does is it turns any stone variant into its mossy version. And then the swamp homai takes that mossy version and converts the moss into aura, basically. And then it gets rid of the moss off of the stone. Um, from what I have read, anyway. But this is not wanting to do it. I thought it was just a right click. Maybe it has to be stone bricks. Uh, let's try that. Let's try some stone bricks instead. Oh yeah, because regular stone doesn't have a mossy version. What am I thinking? <laughs> That's, yeah, then no wonder it wasn't working. Um, and then that should, uh, that should strip it. I thought anyway. Hmm. I thought that was how that worked. Or maybe it has to be on the level above it. Let's kind of go out one. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. 
I'm not exactly sure how this works, so we'll just go ahead and leave that for now. And we'll just grab out some flowers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the aura as high as I can get it, um, like fill up the bar in the upper left hand corner before we spawn the first masticator. And then once I have the, the bar filled up all the way, then I will come back. Okay, I think I have it as maxed out as it will go. I can't seem to get it to go up that little extra bit there at the top of the, the bar. So I guess that's going to be as high as you can get it. Not really sure. Um, let's put all these away. Get my hot bar here kind of rearranged. Okay. Um, yeah, this this isn't changing over. I guess I'm not exactly sure how this works. Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay. So let's go ahead and oh wait, did that? It's in kind of a different different area. Oh well. <laughs> Let's toss these down and hopefully I think you just have to click, like right click on on the mob and then it trans uh, transports the mob over to those particular coordinates. We will see if that's correct. Okay, I think you just drop them down. I have spawned this guy before but it kind of immediately turned into chaos because it started killing everything. <laughs> okay, let's... Whoop. Oh, no, that transported me. Okay, that's not what I want. Um, let's go back over. Maybe I just did it wrong. Uh, real quick. Hopefully that didn't, like, despawn him. I'm thinking since he's a boss, he'll stay there, but we will check. Um, let's get back in there. Okay, uh, let me do... Let me do one more, just so we have it. And I can kind of try it twice, just in case if it doesn't work this next time as well. Let's move that out of the way. Um, yeah, okay, so let's go back here. Hopefully he's still down here. Are you kidding me? He's gone? Oh, that's super annoying. I can't believe he despawns. He's a boss. Yeah, that's really annoying. Because that was a complete waste then. Okay, so how do these things work then? Like, do you have to... Okay, you're dead. Oh, oh okay, you're mad at me. Now, and see that just... And like, I shift... Uh, Right-clicked on him. And it still transported me. So maybe it's just like you're like you go to punch them, kind of. Uh, let's see if we can transport like a villager over there. Okay, nope, that just made him mad. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm really I guess not sure how these warp scrolls work. So that's okay. Um, I guess I will. Go ahead and get the aura raised back up in this area to be able to spawn him again. And then I guess I'll have to go and get these items again so we can actually fight him once. I really was not expecting him to despawn. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me fix the aura in this area and probably go ahead and get these items again because I'm pretty sure this will definitely work. The My only concern is that once we get him back over into that cage little area, once I make him big again, like his hitbox or something will get glitched into the wall or something like that and I'll start taking damage. But I'm not really sure, or I'll just have to kind of Google and figure out if how to work um, 
those warp scrolls. Because I know I've seen someone do it. I believe it was to Asgard, and he did it that way. But I guess I maybe wasn't paying close enough attention to exactly how he transports a different mob and not just himself with these. So anyway, all right, well, I will be right back. Okay, so I have gotten the aura raised back up in this area. I actually went and uh, gathered some Rose of Oblivion from the end. I've, I think I've fought the end dragon like three times now, maybe. So I've, um, there was a decent amount of these on the main end island. Uh, and then I went and got a, another set of the stuff to spawn the, the masticator. So hopefully I won't need to do this again. <laughs> so let's try this again. And then, oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to make that, make that tiny. Okay, and then shrink him, bottle him. Okay, and then let's run back home and go up here. Hopefully he doesn't take damage once I put him back in here, and hopefully he, he can fit in here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some damage here, but that's okay. Let's put him here. Um, we need to... Oh no, let's do normal size. Um, okay, why are you taking damage? Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, his hitbox is, like, really messed up. Oh, okay. Okay, get out of here. He is so creepy looking. Okay. Um, so that works. Um, I'm also going to try and figure out something to do with the boss bar along the top. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to just completely get rid of it. Um, but hopefully next, by next episode I can have something figured out with that because... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the boss bar along the top. Um, I broke out two pieces of glass, and I only have one, so I'll have to fix that, that other piece in a second. Um, okay, so he can hit me. Now, do, now, will he do damage to the Dragmees? That's my question, because, I mean, I don't really need to get near him. So hopefully that's not an issue. Okay, um, let's go ahead and place down the the Drigmies, or a Drigmie, honestly, because I don't want, just in case, he can damage the Drigmie. Um, I, I have not been able to find any more uh, thieves' hoods. Um, I've been kind of searching off and on. Uh, at night time and like going into caves and stuff for some of the skeletons that spawn with these on, but um, I think I have only found one and I accidentally killed it with my knowledge of the ages sword, so yeah, anyway, uh, sword star, chest, um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to actually get it fully set up just at this moment because I need to get the relay set up to transport source up here. But we'll go ahead and get it placed down, and then we'll just see if the Drigmi gets attacked by, by that guy. And maybe not quite yet, because he's probably not going to move until he's actually working, so he probably won't get close enough to maybe get attacked by the Masticator, so we may just have to see once we get it actually up and running. But there's our little Drigmi guy. He's not quite working just yet, but once we get some source going. Okay, so now let's go, now that we have him trapped in there, um, and I think that's a decent space. I mean, it does clearly look like it didn't need to be quite that big. Uh, and I may try and shrink it down, like shave off a block on this side and a block on this side and move it in by one 
it may be a little difficult with him probably being able to hit me, but I may be able to go ahead and like shrink him down and bottle him back up again and do that and then put him back in, the, in there. But we'll see. I may just leave it like that since he's already all in there and, you know, all set up. So let's go back over here and I need to get the aura raised back in this area one more time. So I've just been yeah, doing this and tossing down some eyes of ender and um, the time in a bottle does work on the roses of oblivion. So this shouldn't take too long. Honestly, it tends to go up pretty fast. So I'm just going to do that or do this here and I'll be right back. All right. So it is just now kind of topping off the last bit of the bar there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this other one spawned that will actually fight. And I need to remember to switch my sword over. I don't think this should be too difficult. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, my screen did a weird, had a weird pop-up again. Okay, uh, so we got some Masticator Scales. So this is what actually the Drigme can gather. So yeah, let's go wait, guy. Let's get out of here before we can get attacked again. Um, and so the breathlessness goes away eventually. But yeah, this is what the Drigme can actually gather from the Masticator once that starts running in there. And these are used, um, of course, you can make this here, which, I mean, we may make it just to have it, I guess, <laughs> but they are used in a lot of the Batania flowers. So like the endo flames and stuff, I mean, you need a decent amount of masticator scales to get all of these generating Batania flowers. And then is there anything else? Uh, so there's like chest plate interesting. So there's only a chest plate. There's not like other pieces. <laughs> All right. So that's one thing I wanted to get done. And let's see yeah, what else here. So that was the big thing. One of the mobs that I wanted to get in here. Oh no. Oh no. Why didn't I think of that? I didn't name him before I left the area. Oh, that stinks. And you guys are just jumping right in there. Oh, that really stinks. I was not even thinking about that. Even though we just had that happen back at that other at that other place. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm going to have to obviously get another guy over here. And I mean, I guess that gives me the chance to shave down the size of this, um, make it a little smaller, but then I almost feel like it'll maybe be too skinny and I kind of want to leave it going all the way up to the ceiling. So I'll probably just leave it, leave it this size. So, well, that stinks that, uh, he ended up despawning. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and put all this stuff in here because I don't need that at the moment. And then in these chests, uh, the, basically the last thing I was wanting to do today was start kind of putting some things down in here. So I have gathered um, basically everything that I can think of right now and that I have available either in my storage or I did buy a few of these things from my um, my merchant guy the little emerald merchant guy you can place down. Uh, so I have all the simple farming seeds and the different trees and bushes. Um, I also have a couple hummingbirds that I may just kind of have fly around in there, not for any particular reason, but uh, I hope it'll be they'll be okay in there. I don't think that they'll like take any damage or anything. Um, and then I have 
different like other random things that I want to farm basically like the Minecraft flowers um, and like the two tall flowers like the rose bushes and stuff and then all of the Batania mystical flowers and all of the mushrooms I am missing the regular gray mushroom that's the only mushroom that I don't have and I've kind of been running around in caves trying to find it but I haven't been able to find it yet and I'm, I'm sure I've probably ran across it before and just didn't gather it and now I'm regretting it but I'll, it's that's okay I'll eventually be able to find it and then I do also want to make all of the um, the glimmering flowers because I believe the sylph does gather like they do gather these as well um, I'm not sure about some of these other flowers but I know like the glimmering pink flower is used in this ritual of the forest for the token of joys so um, like we will want to have that automated and have those gathered um, and might as well go ahead and have the rest of them gathered too um, and then kind of some other things I just think we'll need like some of these things are going to be needed kind of in bulk with certain items um, let's see and then yeah, like some mushrooms I don't have I basically only have things in here that are either going to be useful for specific items like the glimmering pink flowers stuff like that or things that I feel like I'll either use for decoration or um, like food items the different basically these are only the really the, the two different types of wood that I use a lot of times um, I may put dark oak in here honestly but regular oak, spruce, and dark oak are really the only three types of wood that I ever use, pretty much. If I do come across something that I want to farm in the future, I'll just add it in here. But this is what I've gotten so far. Um, so, yeah. And then I have the twisted sapling that I'm going to... Um, I just have the saplings in here right now, but I'll grow the, grow the, the tree and then probably just like shave it down and put a few blocks here and there or I may leave the tree big I'm not sure but the serene blossom the twisted sapling the fiery blossom and the sunny blossom these are all of the ones that are used in ritual rituals of the forest um, mostly the sunny blossom and the twisted sapling I believe but there are a few or like one or two that uses the fiery and then the serene blossom is used for the um, the ancient saplings so uh, and then like a few of these other things that you maybe only need to craft like a couple of them not really in mass most likely but the ancient saplings are used for the sylph charms so just in case I want a bunch of these later on I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to use the hopper botany pots in the future, but go ahead and have the production set up just in case. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and kind of start planning out like where I'm going to put all of these and we'll go ahead and get uh, a couple sylphs going in here. We'll get four more of the sylphs here we'll put a chest and source jar all right so we have four of those they're yeah very unhappy right now because there is literally nothing in this room so so sorry guys I'm gonna fix it so anyway I will be right back okay so I have been kind of placing some stuff down here uh, they also, the sylphs have also been spawning some grass as well, and a few flowers here and there. Um, I have been going through and kind of breaking out the flowers that I know that I already have. Like, I think that pink one, yeah, I've got a pink one there already. I mean, it doesn't really matter if I have extra, like, see, there's a bunch of these white lotus flowers, but I may go back through here later on. But... I think I have determined that I'm going to leave this this level here as 
basically just kind of flowers and the trees. I mean, and there's like some mushrooms and grass and stuff here and there, but um, I think what I'm going to do for the other levels, um, we're going to have like crops on kind of staggered out here and there. I'm not really sure how I'm wanting to do it, but since the, let's see, the sugar cane, I have like, I have some sugar cane that needs water nearby. Um, I think I'm going to have to put that up here on this level because it has a half slab underneath it. I could put some half slabs um, underneath these and do it that way, but I think since that already has the half slab, I may do the water up there, but then I'm hoping that by using rich soil for the other crops will be fine. Like, I don't think that messes up the, the sylphs, but we'll have to see. And then there's some plants, um, and like duckweed. This, this is honestly for just kind of like decoration. I don't really think that this has much of a use, like beyond decoration and like a few crafting things here and there. So, I mean, I don't really need a lot of it, so I may not even bother placing it down, but I believe this goes into water, and then there's also a purple one, too. Um, and these are kind of just easy, easy dye. Then again, though, with how this, uh, this farm will run, we'll basically have infinite dye no matter what. So I'm kind of still determ determining exactly what I'm wanting to put in this farm, but like seagrass that has to go in water, uh, seaweed that goes in water, and I'm hoping that some of these things can be farmed by the sylph. Um, honestly, I'm not really 100% sure on some of it, but we'll just have to see. So yeah, this is what I have placed down so far. Um, I may go ahead and put these, these bushes on this level as well. But I did go ahead and spawn another Masticator, so let's see if we can get him back over here. I keep trying to walk through this glass because I'm thinking it's that glass. <laughs> but okay, so let's go in here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and make this normal size. Put you down again. And... Try and hit you. Your hitbox is so weird. Oh no, oh no, you've jumped out. Come back. Oh, lag spike. Okay, I've done this before. Why isn't it not working now? Because that opens it. So it is punching it. Am I just not hitting the right spot? No, no, come back. Come back. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and get him big again. I was hoping this would just be really simple. I don't know why it worked last time and now it's not working this time. Uh, let me place these back here and go out. Huh. Let me grab you. Let's go back in. Place you down. Ooh, there we go. Jeez. Uh, okay, well, actually, I need back in there. <laughs> so I'm going to name, name him Nightmare Fuel <laughs> because that is what he is. And now please tell me that you are not going to despawn now. That would be great. Thank you. Let's, uh, let's test it out, I suppose. Let's just, uh go somewhere. Completely separate dimension. Wander around for a second. Go back. 
Okay, so the boss bar is still there. That's a good sign. All right, so he's there. Um, yeah, I just decided to leave it how, like the size here. I think it's a good size for that, for that back wall. And then last thing we're gonna do is see if I can get the like relays figured out. Um, I may need to. I may need to make some more. And honestly, I don't really, I don't even think I really need splitters. I think I just need regular uh, relays. I think that would be best. Yeah, let me go ahead and make um, a few of these and then I'll come back. I think I'm gonna need, because it comes up to this level, so I'll need a relay up here. I, I hope relays can go th through blocks. I'm honestly not sure. Like, I wonder if it would shoot up, um, like, through this hinge here. If I put a relay right on top. And then that way it could shoot up through the bottom. Like, I could break out the bottom or this block underneath the hinge. But I wonder if it would shoot through the hinge. Because I'm thinking I'm going to have to bring the source up through maybe the middle. Um, and just, like, like, break out the block in the middle there, and, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Or maybe I could just bring it straight up, and then, like, maybe off that back wall, kind of bring it up back there, uh, come up th that back wall there to here, and then from here, maybe relay it to the middle of this room and the middle of that room, and then up through the floor, possibly. I've never messed around with the relays and like the splitters, so we'll have to see how that goes. So let me make a few regular relays on top of these two splitters that I have, and then we'll see how to go about doing that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished making the last of the relays that I th think I'll need. So let's go back in here. Um, let me go ahead and grab the splitters too. I don't think I'll need both of these. Maybe just one, but we'll see. So let's go down to the very bottom. We'll work from the bottom up, maybe. Uh, okay, so let's go figure out exactly where this comes down. It should be pretty close to the edge of this. Um, okay. We break that out, and then if we put a relay here maybe I'm honestly not sure like the distance and uh, like if they can have certain blocks kind of in their path because it seems to be fine with like those pipes down there so I'm not sure if like leaf um, leaf blocks would be okay as well but we'll have to see and then uh, yeah, I guess it would have to stay like that. I'll have to figure out what to do here. Um, and then if I bring it up through here to a splitter, uh, we'll have to see. Let's go, let's go back down here. doesn't look too bad being up there. Like, I'll have to break out some of those blocks to kind of hide the that natural stone there, but, um, okay, so we need to pull from here and send to up here. Can I get up in that spot? I don't think I can. Okay. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, come back over here. No, no. Get out of there, please. Thank you. All right, and go to there. Relay set to send to here. Okay, that should be right. Let's go back down and check on this splitter. And it should be yeah, sending to two locations. So it's sending to that source jar and then it's sending to that relay. And then we'll uh, take from here and we'll go to this splitter. Is that right? Should be right. It looks like it's sending. Okay, and then now I wonder if it can go through this glass. Because if so, then... I can come to like the middle here and put a relay here, maybe. Oh, then that'll. Mm. I don't know if it'll work like that. We may have to bring it down one if this will even work to begin with. Um, so let's take from here and try going to here. That going to work? And then is this getting any source? Oh wait, no, I have to send it to this thing now. Um, let's go back down. I can just teleport through the through the floor. Okay, and then let's take from here and send to here. Hey, it's doing something. Oh my. Yeah, this is going to fill up very fast. Um, yeah, so my next order of business, um, I think I'll work on this between episodes, is getting the storage for this. Um, yeah, it looks like it's not actually getting the fruit from like the bushes and the trees and everything and I'm suspecting well it did get an apple but I think an apple is just from like normal uh like these normal leaves it's not from the actual apple tree oh no it's getting some apricots or apricots however you pronounce it in your region <laughs> um so maybe you don't need them actually grown on the tree, but I think I am going to put some light in here just to actually have them grow and have a little bit of color on the leaves. So yeah, because this is going to get filled up majorly fast. Um, and then I also think I'm not going to put any spruce from like my chest that I had gathered because these trees spawn with spruce, so that should be fine. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's awesome. That's working great. So then let's go over here and then we're going to send to uh, uh, pretty close. I was almost there. Send to here. Relay there. Okay, so let's grab from here. Go to here. And then we're going to grab from here and send to here. Awesome. Okay. And then, nice. So you are gathering some stuff too. Glowst oh, those are from, that's from the witch. That's one thing I am going to want to kind of keep an eye on because I need to see if... I get glass bottles, which I would imagine so, since that's a normal drop from the witches. Um, but then how many I get. Of course, this will get, this will run faster once I get more Drigmies. And um, 
I think maybe the more mobs they have to farm, the happier they are, maybe. I'm honestly not sure if the Drigmies have, like, a happiness meter. Because you go to, like, right-click on them, and it, it doesn't do anything, and it doesn't say anything in, like, the upper left-hand corner, like, whenever you look at a, at a sylph, it says very happy. Oh, I was trying to jump in the bush. Uh, yeah, so it says they're very happy. They're not extremely happy yet. Hmm. Which is kind of crazy because there is a lot in here. Maybe it takes them a while to be in an area before they become extremely happy. Like maybe my guy is down there. It didn't really so much matter how much I had. Like I had enough before, but it just takes them a while to become extremely happy after they've been in an area. I'm not sure because there is a huge variety of stuff here, I would imagine, but yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think that's where we're going to end off the episode today. We're kind of starting to get some mobs going over here. Um, we've actually got it at least running, you know, starting to run on both of these. And between episodes, I'll work on the storage for the different items and work on probably getting the rest of the mobs, I think, that I'll want to have spawned or have farmed over here. And then the crops and everything that I want to have farmed over here. I think on one of the levels for the mobs, um, like one of the levels, probably maybe down one level is going to be just completely an aquarium, like just fill the whole thing in with water and, um, kind of spruce it up with like, uh, some coral and seagrass and seaweed and stuff like that, even though that won't be farmed, but just to make it look nice. And that's where we can put the aquatic mobs that I'll want to have farmed. Um, there will be a couple that I'll probably have to have kind of separate from the other ones because the guardians, um, I'm, I know they attack squid, but I don't know if they attack like other regular fish, but obviously I'll want him probably kind of separated and it's in their own little thing away from the other sea creatures. <laughs> so I don't go down there one day and then they're all dead. So Anyway, that's what I'm going to work on between episodes. So thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.